Hello Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, trust. Trust your power. Stillness, the quietness around you. I feel like you're very powerful Aquarius. You don't have to say anything or do anything for people to just respect the power that you have. Okay, anything else? One more. Trust the power of the stillness around you. You are manifesting dreams right now. Just go with the flow. Okay, joy is under the deck. You see that? Interesting. Okay, so. Just there. Maybe things feel like they're stalled or not happening, but yet I feel like a lot of you know there's something big coming in, and I love that. Manifest there on that one card. Okay, what is this trust card? What is a Aquarius need to know at this time. It could be a cycle that has ended for you. The moon, two of swords, and let me do one more. Seven of swords. Ooh. Why do I feel like you know someone is lying to you or has lied to you or will? Maybe a Pisces, but there's something here. There's some sort of, maybe some of you are doing magic. Some of you are manifesting something, the process. Okay, what is the power card here? You have a lot of power, Aquarius, a lot that you could harness, um, again, to manifest your dreams or to find something out. What is this power energy? An offer. It's blocked. You're blocking something or someone or you're protecting someone or something. Look at that. Or you're bringing something towards you. I see the seven of wands in this deck as like blocking that door. Like you cannot come in here. You can't see what's going on. You don't have that right. So, but it could also be fighting for something. But I feel kind of like you have some sort of powerful like energy to manifest something you want or to block something. What is the stillness card? Stillness. Moving towards love, lovers, moving towards happiness. Someone's going to get caught, not you, I don't think. I think you're on the other side. There is something that's going to come to light. I feel like there's some sort of power you have. This week, going towards a lover, going towards happiness. But at the same time, I feel like there's some of you, there's two things going on here. You're on one side or the other. Either you're finding something out and you, and you are like, I want to say manifesting a trap or something, but you you do know something. On the other hand, some of you are going towards something quietly. You're going towards new love or a lover, or this is a connection here. What is manifesting dreams? King of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So some of you are manifesting a lover, a new person in your life. Could be a obviously a fire sign. We also have Gemini, Pisces. What is this going with the flow? Things aren't feeling like they're moving forward. A relationship, King of Swords. This could be you, obviously. Or things just aren't happening the way you're hoping. There could be something behind the scenes that you don't know or see, but yet I feel like you have the power to overcome this or to see or find this out. Okay, it's an interesting opening here. Trust the power. Trust the power of the stillness. You are manifesting your dreams. Even if it doesn't feel like anything is happening, something is going in your favor. Something was manifested maybe around the last full moon. What is going, what does somebody want to say to you? Someone's saying you're worth more to me than I let on. I feel like someone is trying to hold you back energetically. They don't want you to move on. Even if you don't like them, this is what I'm kind of getting. Maybe someone's trying to do some sort of spell work or on you. Yep, I'm afraid that I lost you forever. You also have someone saying, I'm afraid of commitment, though. Uh, maybe why they lost you, right? I'm scared you will reject me. So someone's got a lot going on in their head. On one hand, they don't want to lose you, but they don't want to commit, but they don't, you know, they're afraid that you are going to reject them. I don't feel like I deserve you. Okay, this is what you need to know about a person. This is what's going on in their head and why they're so hard to understand and <laughs> have anything happen with them. But I'm on my way to you. And one more, please. I hate seeing you with I hate seeing you with them. And they're jealous too, on top of that, but it says I want to kiss you. 
Oh, good Lord. Okay. So, so some of you, you want this person though, Aquarius, you want this person to come to you. You, you want them, but you're not doing anything. You're very quiet and still. So you're trusting your power to draw this in. It's still, this is like the four of swords. You are manifesting your dreams and you're going with the flow. Now, as I'm talking, the ace of pentacles went flying out to the side. So I don't know if this is commitment, a new job. I'm assuming this is commitment because that's what we're talking about here. Page of Cups is in reverse. What the hell? Why is the whole thing in reverse? The King of Wands and the Knight of Coins. Somebody lost a commitment with you. Under the deck is the Seven of Swords. Some may play too many games. The King of Wands in reverse can be very self-centered, and Page of Cups in reverse is like there's no offer here. Someone is looking back at the past at a coins and realizing like they didn't give anything. They they were selfish. So. look at this deck okay on someone's mind is a page of coins how someone is feeling the nine of wands the six of wands and the potential outcome is a three of coins working things out Well, I'm going to tell you, your outcome is really good. You got the three of coins, eight of coins, ten of coins, and the hierophant. So some of you could be establishing your career, going up in your career, something else here. This could be like full on working on a relationship, though, getting along, something long term, something very secure. Some of you are receiving something up here. Have really good energy, but I don't think it's it's necessary with that person over here who's talking to you. This is something else. This feels like that person because this is someone who's arguing fear of commitment, wondering about you, feeling weighed down. A new beginning is here. From some of you, this you know this has not happened yet. You're going to be in a new commitment. There's something here with the Nine of Cups and Ace of Cups, and this person doesn't want to see you with anybody else, but you could be starting something when it comes to love. You definitely have a lot of aces here, Ace of Coins, Sword, and Cup. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. I'm just going to say that. Whatever energy or magic or you know power you are, Putting out there, Aquarius, you are pulling things into you. You are pulling in opportunities. Um, you've got, because I know some of you don't work, so I don't, I don't want to read it as like work, but you are definitely manifesting money, opportunities, potential, you know, career advancements here. Wow. Someone is regretting or will be regretting their choice of not giving you that job or not giving you that commitment when they see how, you know, well you're doing. Um, they will be coming back around sooner or later. They are just very insecure. I don't know if you realize that this person is insecure. They have a fear of commitment. Um, when they say, I hate seeing you with them, this could be somebody, yes, now, someone that you post pictures with. Maybe they don't know who they are. This could be someone coming in the future. It could be it could be someone they just don't like, a friend of yours. This could be, you know, a bot. like if you are moving to a different company or job, it could just mean a person that you, you know, career-wise, but this person has a lot of shadow work is what I'm seeing here. This person has a lot of, um, they could be arrogant, argumentative, looking at the past, not moving forward, always wondering about things, but not taking action. So I, you know, what I kind of get though, I feel like see you queries kind of just smiling to yourself. You know, what's going on in the background of this person, but you are just going with the flow. You're pulling in, you're manifesting your desires, and this person is seeing that. Now, I do see them coming back with the full energy of the Seven of Swords. Okay, unfinished business fell out and rolling the dice. Okay, I do feel like this person is insecure, but they're going to take that chance and just, you know, reach out. Whoops, sorry about that. Some of you could have some sort of ceremony or sort of some some sort of um, 
like a graduation, but that's not really, you know, I'm trying to think of another word. And they could be there with flowers. They could congratulate you the way he's hugging her. Um, you know, it's kind of what I'm getting possibly. What else is going on here with this person? This could be unexpected. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't think this is you. I feel like you have, have a handle on what's going on with this person. Even if you haven't spoken to them or seen them for a while. I think it's them. I think they're going to see you do really well coming up here. Um, again, this may be unexpected. I get for them. But we'll see. Unexpected dreaming about you. Could have a dream about you suddenly. This person maybe hasn't thought about you in a little while, then they have this sudden dream or something. They decide to go look at your social media or look you up or you know, Google you, whatever, drive by. And maybe I don't know, it kind of surprises them what you're doing suddenly. Romantic feeling, dreaming of you, romantic feelings, uh, looking at social media. Ghosted karma. Finding something out, watching you now, reminiscing, some of you are on camera, some of you there is some sort of magnetic attraction, but you're single. Somebody, I don't know why I'm getting like, maybe somebody is in film or something like that, it almost feels like camera magnetic attraction, someone maybe an actor or actress, like a love scene or something, uh, maybe there's a picture of you hugging or kissing someone else, but yet maybe you are single. So maybe again, like there's a picture of you, like, you know, next to your cousin or a friend and they've never seen them. They don't realize that that's not a boyfriend, girlfriend or something. This is getting a little specific and I don't know if it's going off too far into the details, but I don't know. It feels kind of like, okay, so someone who ghosted you still thinks about you as I'm getting here. There's some sort of like spirit's going to put, you know, a picture in their feed. They don't follow you, but all of a sudden there's your picture or your, you know, your YouTube video or TikTok or something. Show me something about that. Show me what is being brought up. What is this divine intervention? I also feel like this person may have some negative karma from, for ghosting you because I really think that's a really shitty thing to do to anyone. So there could be some backlash, or, you know, spiritually or something that's happening to them. But what is this divine intervention? What are they? Yeah, they're seeing something or being offered something. It's almost like someone says, hey, look, there's Aquarius. Did you know that they're doing this? Do you, did you know that they lived here or something like that? Something about work or school or a hobby or something like that. Um, an offer or a message or communication. Four of swords. Off of work, not taking action. To be an earth sign for some of you. Five of swords. And the sun. Fool. Under the deck. Knight of coin. I'm sorry. Knight of wands is under the deck. Three of cups. Okay. More to learn. Finding something out. Sunglasses. Watching. Single, finding out that you're single, something like that. What's going to happen in this connection? What is going to happen with this connection? Two of Wands just fell out. Messages and communication, Five of Swords, Justice. So this is something that you want back. This is something you've been manifesting, like those initial cards said, something about your power of manifestation, whether you have just done like thoughts or some sort of magic. The Five of Swords is like, yes, I wanted this. I wanted this communication all along, and I'm getting it with the Justice card. So for some of you, this could be someone that ghosted you. This could have gone, this could have happened quite a while ago. This could be something is now being brought to their attention and piqued their interest into where they want to reach out and talk to you. And this is someone who, from what it looks like, you want to talk to them. Or, you know, something along that line. You wanted to know what happened to this person? What is this person feeling right now? What are they feeling? Okay, revealing. So they want to reveal something to you. That just came up in... It was Capricorns. What else are they feeling right now? Hiding. Revealing that they're hiding. They've been hiding, but now they want to come forward. One more. Looking. <laughs> the stalking. Looking says, got their eye on someone. I think that's you. Still searching. Can't find what they want. 
looking around, hiding. Opening up, showing true self. They feel like they need to retreat. They can't handle things. That's runner energy. That's a fear of commitment. And then now they're looking. So it's like someone who very hot and cold shows you part of themselves and pulls back. Can't find what they want. Looking, always looking. That's interesting. I get like you're, I don't want to say you're toying with this person at all, but I get kind of like you've got this person kind of figured out. You're, you're drawing them in. Aquarius is what I'm getting, but I don't get like you're actually really physically doing anything. You've just been living your life. And again, let me go back to part of your reading. I do see you getting some very good news, some money. Um, this could be a contract. This could be, you know, for home, for work, something like that. It could be a loan even here. And again, a rewards, you know, work or something else that you're doing right here. Again, because some of you are retired. I get that. So this is something else good. This person did not give you a commitment is what I'm seeing here now. The commitment is the ace of coin, and this person refused in the past to give it to you. I feel, like, I feel like they ghosted, they left you hanging, and now they're looking back at that. They're, they're confused, this moon. Their feelings are coming up, is what I'm getting here. There's a lot of emotions going on for this person. They don't like it. Um, they've been watching you. They could feel alone, isolated, lonely, or guarded here with a single card. What is this person feeling right now? That you are a divine counterpart, like they missed out on the one. This person's scared. They feel like you are their true love. And one more for Capricorn. We have a new beginning. They want a new beginning with you. Okay. They want to heal things. So if this is something or someone that you have been waiting for, um, it's coming back around. It's definitely coming in. This has been showing up this week. So let me go back and see if there's any loose ends. You're worth more than I let on. I am afraid to lose you forever. Some of you also are very free spirited. I feel like you may have not wanted commitment. Um, it's like you still want your freedom. Like you like being in a relationship, but you like your freedom. So I just feel like you just kind of went off and like lived your life anyways. But you do need to know this person is, you know, afraid of being rejected. They don't feel like they deserve you. They have some commitment issues here. Um, so they have a little shadow work here to do, but you've just been going through the slow. Okay. All right. I think that just about covers it. Let me see what they like about you, where we at. Okay. What do they like about Capricorn or what are they like? Show me something about Capricorn that they like. They've had the secret desire for you all along, okay? Or you maybe desire them secretly. They are not over you. This person only has eyes for you. Wow. Um, one more. What else do they like about Capricorn? And you know it was love at first sight. You've been on their mind and in their heart this whole time, Capricorn. Major attraction. They've been loyal to you. Those two felt fell out. So I was going to show you. Okay, let's hear one thing they want to say before. Um, some of you definitely may have some tattoos or some shoulder tattoos or a sleeve. I'm noticing all the tattoos on her arm. Someone that may not feel attractive right now or something because she's looking into the water and, and she sees the swan or maybe someone does feel attractive. You could be like glowing, like have a glow up or something or being recognized. What would they say? I feel so happy when I'm with you. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.